Hey everybody, well I am back, and you might be like, back? Where have you been? I've just taken a break. Um, Reno had a week off work, and if you saw I mentioned in my Christmas Q&A video that we did, I was like, I don't really get much of Christmas off, and I was thinking, well most of you, nice view indicated mate, <laughs> most of you have got other things to be doing than watching videos and stuff, so I thought, I'm going to do it. For the first time, as I say, for six, seven years, I'm going to take a break. And it was amazing. It was so nice. Uh, it was quite eye-opening, actually, to take that time off and look at bigger, bigger picture things again, rather than just, like, what's the next video? I didn't do the classic 2019 highlights reel thing. Um, but just basically because last year was... It wasn't the best year. It started out really... Well, it was quite worrying at the beginning of the year. And thanks to the support of the people that watch this channel, um, you know, the people who support me through Patreon, and the people who support me through PayPal, and picking up the extra work I've been doing, the boat work. I've not done that for a few weeks though, obviously, because uh, as Christmas came up, everything had to slow down, and then we just got Christmas out of the way. And that will pick up again soonish. Um, but it's through that that I'm, you know, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not living in the lap of luxury. But right now, I'm not as worried as I was. So obviously it's just a massive thanks to all of you guys that watch and the people that support me in the ways that you do. It's amazing, thank you. But enough of looking back, because that's another reason I kind of didn't do the 2019 highlights video, because I thought, those videos, if you like them, they're there, you can see them. I mean, I can, I can point out a few of my favourites, maybe. The MASH 400 review, that was fun. Um, Biker V's Massive Rainstorm, or whatever it's called, that was fun. Uh, pretty much any of the Lex Moto uh, green landing videos, they were all massive fun. But particularly the, uh, the, the Lex Moto Venom out in the UM Commando off-road, that was... They were my funnest times. I didn't realise this, but it was only last year that I was very kindly gifted a TIG welder. Uh, and in that year, I've taught myself to TIG weld. I mean, I had never touched a TIG welder before that. Yes, okay. I'm not, uh, I'm not saying I am some proficient TIG welder at this point, I'm just, I can do TIG welding, the welds will hold and they don't look terrible, entirely. I've even done a handful of jobs now that I've been paid to weld things up, and uh, two of those jobs I think it was, yeah, two of those was, uh, was TIG welding, so I'm very, very proud of that, but that's something that's very difficult to fit into a, uh, a highlight reel, like, look, welding! <laughs> I mean, I do such a mix of things, that was the other side of it, it was like, how do you fit all this motorcycle stuff and all the other stuff together in one, like, highlight reel that makes any sense? Unless we not forget, it would have also been to royalty-free music, which probably would make most of you want to scrape your ears out, but, you know, we only have such a small selection of music and it all seems to be the same. In fact, that's actually one thing I realised over Christmas. I think royalty-free music is its own genre because doesn't matter what style it is, you, when you hear it, you know it's royalty free. You know, it's like pop music, you can recognise it anywhere, and it's crap. <laughs> there is some okay royalty free music out there, but anyway, whatever, whatever. Um, 2020, what's going to be coming up? Well, the first thing that's coming up in the very near future is me putting some fuel in this bike. <laughs> go on, my friend. Let's all those people go. That's a gaper, that one. Hot dog in a hallway situation. Back in a moment. Oh, it's getting proper chilly now. Oh, that's better. I've got some fuel again. So yes, to future things. Uh, there's a few goals that I want to achieve this year. I won't bother going into them because they're sort of background stuff that I want to do. Plus also, I do want to, um, I want to increase the quality of the videos but maybe spend a little bit more time working on them and not, maybe not worry about getting so many up a week. Uh, I think in 2019, I made a hundred, no, 257 videos. It worked out being a video every 1.5 days. Uh, and considering I have been doing that rate, well actually, my average video upload over the past eight years is two, uh, one video every 2.2 days, or maybe slightly less than that now. I came to the realisation I'm creating as much content as some channels with entire teams of people, and I'm like, 
maybe you could take a little bit of a step back and maybe make one less on average here and there and then you could spend a bit more time on those ones. It's something I'm going to play with. I've got some ideas and some things I want to do. There's also a few old videos of mine um, which are very helpful to people that I want to, I want to, I want to update. I don't want to redo them, I want to update them. Um, I think they can be done better and there's a few ideas I've got for doing those uh, which will vastly improve it, I think. I won't say anything more about that because, well, someone's probably going to steal my idea. <laughs> that is something I'm also going to try and do this year is not let you know about things I'm planning to do. I'm just going to tell you what I've done. Part of the reason for that is just simply because I have plans for things to happen. I, I mention it because I'm so sure it's going to happen and then stuff happens and everything gets all delayed. Like working on my bikes, I was supposed to be doing that over the winter. Uh, I still am planning to do that, but rather than pre-winter maintenance is now pre-spring maintenance. Uh, that's something I want to get to relatively soon. Um, just basically, basic tarting up stuff, sorting out problems, removing issues that could become bigger issues in the future, that sort of stuff. But before I get to that, I actually have a, a camera mount I want to make. But I'll get, again, I'll get to that later. I won't mention things that haven't happened yet. As you can tell, I'm pretty positive and upbeat. This, this week off I had was just amazing. The first couple of days, I admitted, I was like, I, this feels weird, why am I not doing this? And I could find myself like itching to be like, I should be up doing something. And after a few days, I was I actually relaxed. And as I say, Reno had a week off work, so we basically just chilled out, relaxed, spent a lot of time together and just had a nice time, really. It was, it was probably the best Christmas I've had in a very long time. A couple of things I will say about is obviously the review for the Icon variant, that's coming up very soon, I've got to do that. And also the review for the Vendetta. I will also mention this time, even though I have already mentioned this several times in several places, but I still keep getting asked the question. Yes, I am getting the Lexmoto LXR 380 to review. Uh, it will probably be in February. I actually received the Vendetta on the day that the 380 was released. So uh, it just it worked out in a way that I could do the Vendetta while they're sorting that out. And then once they're done most of their work with the review bike, because don't forget, I have them for a while, and they only tend to have one or two review bikes, um, then they can lend it to me longer term and they don't need it so much. That's why I was so amazed that I got the Vendetta so quickly. <laughs> oh no, slow it down, slow it down. Remember, this is the 30. Nearly got caught out on that before. I do apologise for the disgusting, dirty, grainous squirrel. Oi! I know what you're up to. Um, <laughs> that I'm currently filming in, but this is currently England, and it is, it is grim. It is, I'm, I'm not even going to lie, it's horrible. I've had enough of it, I want the sun back. <laughs> I don't care about the cold and all that, it's just... Look at it! Grey, grey, even the green looks grey. Everything's grey. What's in there? Ah, greyness. <laughs> Whoa, that is a lot of magpies. I've given up trying to keep this clean for now, because it's just you just ride and it gets filthy. Can't you see that grip? Kind of did. Up and over. Oh, oh god, I hope there's no holes in here or big rocks. <laughs> like that. <laughs> That'd be right off. <laughs> what on earth? I don't even want to know. In short, 2019 was a, was a pretty tough year, to be fair. Um, but with the help of you lot, it didn't turn out nearly as bad as I thought it was going to. It was amazing. 2020, as I say, I'm feeling more hopeful. I'm, I'm hoping more people, as I make better videos and produce better content, people will see that and hopefully will join the patron. Um, it, as I say, it only it comes down to about 200 and what, 220 odd people? I think it's a bit less at the moment because it's the end of the month and it all falls below and then it, it dips and it goes back up. It's, I don't fully understand it. <laughs> but it's only down to you know, less than 250 people, shall we say, that have made the difference. It doesn't seem that unlikely that a few more people might jump on and be like, oh, I'll chuck in a buck a month to help you out. 
Uh, what else is going on in 2020? I will obviously be restarting up the metalworks and getting a few clocks made, but I may not be making quite as many. Reason why, this is one of the things I realised, is I really want to make some unique things and make videos doing it. Oh look, it's empty up there. Do you can do a wheelie? Do a wheelie? Well, no, no, we've just got... Just got the arse end going out. So I guess it's back to off-roading. Um, uh, what's the trust? So yeah, the, the networks. I want to make more videos doing it, but I want to make more videos doing unique things, building unique things, making unique things. Uh, so I've got a plan coming up soon to do with the camera mount that I want to make because, you know, sometimes when you can't find the thing you want, well, then you just down well make one. And I think that might actually be more interesting to people than maybe some of the other stuff that I've done. And there's the thing, if, if I'm just making clocks, it, it, I spend all the time doing that. So I want to work out some unique builds, some things I want to make. As I said, I've just bought a plasma cutter because uh, that's really going to help with a lot of the things that I've wanted to make. I'm like, well, actually, I can't, that's going to be a real pain to do that and that. And there's like plasma cutter solves a lot of that. I hope to do many good things in 2020. I hope to step things up a bit, as everyone does every year. You start, like, I want to try and do things a little bit better, a little bit smoother, a little bit sleeker, a little bit more interesting, cooler, funnier, whatever. A little bit better than the previous year. Um, and just keep building and building like that. I have realised a slight problem with the Metalworks longevity-wise, which is... If I make the Metalworks a core part or a large core part of my income, when it comes to me and Reno needing to get our own place, it would require me to have a garage or a workshop, and I don't know if we can we will be able to afford that. Which means that in when the time comes that I have to find my own place rather than being living in a shared house, which you know we pay our way, it's not like we could get a small flat in South Sea as it turns out for what we pay but yeah as I say for that I would not have a garage obviously why am I just going in circles I just like practicing things and I would be a bit up the creek there I'm not going to worry about it too much because you know you don't worry about the future that's one of the other things don't worry about the future so much I worry and worry and worry and I'm like when is this when is the the, the shite going to hit the fan with this and it's like could be another 10 years or more and if you look at what you were doing just a couple of years ago and you look at what you're doing now anything's possible there you go i've got that all into one video i am back that's where i've been that's what i'm planning to do thank you for your support oh and the, the few people that sent me um some money through paypal were like happy christmas have a couple of drinks on me it was so kind of you and and um other people have supported me through through paypal thank you to all of you in all the ways even the people that just view the videos because if you didn't view them, well, no one was watching. But anyway, I don't want to take up any more of your time. As I say, I just wanted to sort of get this all in one video. And then you know where I've been, what's been going on, what's planned to do. And then normal videos are going to resume. And you'll never know that I took a week off. Honestly, I, I almost feel guilty for taking a week off. It's just, oh, I took a week off once in six years. <laughs> you lazy piece of shit. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, catch you next time. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed this video and the other content on the channel, please consider following the links in the description to show your support.